still not all the way used to seeing myself with hair, especially now that I'm a short blonde. This joint, mm. my god. Hey, what's up you guys, it's your girl Riss, and today I'm gonna be showing you how I get these voluminous wand curls. This is a wig that was sent to me by wowebony.com. So shout out to you guys, Wow Ebony, for sponsoring today's video. Thank you so much. As you guys know, um, I have been getting more and more into wigs and you know, I've been enjoying wearing them. And so like, I've been stepping out of my comfort zone with like the lengths and um, I think my next wig, I'm gonna be experimenting with some color maybe who knows um but this one definitely outside of my comfort zone so uh yeah if you want to see how i took this indian i think this is hold up yes indian body wave girl because it, it just it wasn't looking like this when it first came out of the box but if you want to see how i transformed this wig then let's just go ahead and get started <laughs> Okay, you guys, so here is the wig. This is a silk base 4x4 four four lace front wig. It is an Indian Remy body wave. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but the hair is so soft, you guys. Like, oh my gosh, it is so soft. I did not cut any of the lace off yet. I'm about to do that now. This hairline is not pre-plucked, but because the part is in the middle, I'm not even gonna worry about it too much because it is a silk base. Like you can see how natural this part looks. Now normally if I was gonna wear this wig a lot, which I'm probably not going to do because it is literally like almost 100 degrees outside. So I'm probably not even gonna be wearing this wig a lot because it is 20 inches. But normally I would sew an elastic band on into the wig so I don't have to glue it or anything like that. And the elastic band method works perfectly for me. But um, this is the constructed cap. It has one, two, three, I think four wig clips. So we have one in the back, one in the front, and then two on the sides. And then we also have an adjustable strap, like right at the nape of the neck. So uh, listen, this wig ain't going nowhere, okay? So, but this is the wig straight out of the box. It still has a little tag on here. And that's kind of how you know, or in my opinion, that's how you know uh, that the wig quality is good because of <laughs> the quality of the tag, like this tag that's some good quality but if I really wanted to wear this wig like out out I would probably do some customizing to the hairline I'm just cutting the lace off right now I will probably customize this hairline um, bleach the knots on the hairline but since again I'm not probably gonna be wearing this wig a lot I'm actually thinking about giving it to Larea yeah it's a no for me when it comes to customizing because it's just it just it's so tedious and I just don't have time so I'm just cutting the lace off as close to the hairline as possible and the thing that I just don't care for when it comes to silk bases is the fact that there is like a tiny bit maybe like a half inch of lace in the front and then the silk base starts so it's kind of I don't know it's kind of annoying because I mean, it's like they have to put the lace on there to get the, um, to get it to like lay flush with your skin, you know what I mean? Which is fine, you know. I I'm gonna I'm a tell y'all how I used to, like, my first silk base from Mount Ebony. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. I used nail glue, girl. Yeah! nail glue to get that lace flap in the front and I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about but to get that little flap in the front to lay because at that time I really didn't know anything about uh like the elastic band method so yeah all right so I cut off the lace and I also adjusted the straps in the back now I'm going to go ahead and put it on all right so this parting space in the middle is not what's up I feel like I'm going to have to pluck that to get a little bit wider because it is not cute like this looks so unnatural right now so this flap right here in the front and if I tilt my head back you can kind of maybe see or turn it to the side you can see it lifting right here right so that's why I glued that part down because it just would not lay flat you know what I don't think I'm gonna fool with this parting right now I just want to go ahead and curl this so I'm gonna be using my wand curler 
to put some wand curls in this bad boy. I just want it to be a little bit bigger than it is. So I'm gonna be using my Red by Kiss wand curler. I think this is maybe a one inch wand curler. It came with a glove, so I'm gonna put that on just in case. I burn myself because I don't have time. So I'm just gonna begin to part this in sections and it's gonna be pretty small because like I said, the curler is only one inch. Actually, this glove is supposed to be on my left hand. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm not going to show you how I do it all the way through. I just kind of want you guys to get the hang of it. So I'm taking this and I'm wrapping it around the wand curler. Actually, yikes. I'm gonna start at the base of the wand curl and then I'm just going to continue to wrap this until I can't wrap it anymore. And then I'm gonna hold it for maybe about seven seconds and then I'm gonna let it go. And I'm gonna do this all over and then I'll be back to show you guys the finished product. All right, you guys, so this is a little bit difficult over here. So what I'm about to do is show you how I'm doing this. So I'm taking the wand curler and I'm putting the highest to the base of the Wait, let me try to explain this better. So the top of the hair, I'm putting toward the base of the wand curler and I'm gonna stop in the middle just because this hair is so daggone long. And I'm gonna curl this part first and then I'm gonna pull it out. Like I'm gonna release it and it's gonna fall and then I'm gonna take the middle part that wasn't on the wand curler and then just continue to curl. So that's how I've been doing it the whole way around the hair. And like I said, if I showed you guys this like the whole way around, it would, this video would be super long, especially if it was in real time. And it's kind of hard to do on camera, so. You could probably see me struggling right now, <laughs> but I'm gonna take a section of that hair that I just pulled out and then do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna start at the top and then wrap it until I get at the end of the iron and then just hold it. Then I'm gonna pull that out just like that, let it fall. And because I'm still holding it, I'm gonna grab the part that I was holding and then twist it around again. And then hold this for seven seconds and then we're gonna let that fall. And you can see the steam coming out of here. I think this iron heats up to maybe like 400 degrees. I think that's what it said, maybe 410 degrees on the box. I'll have this specific iron linked in, or the uh, wand color linked in the description box but i got it from my local beauty supply store i'm pretty sure that you can buy it off of amazon so if i do find it on amazon i'm gonna have it linked to my amazon store so you guys can pick it up but i love this wand curler it's literally like perfect and it gets extra extra hot so you do definitely need the gloves girl you're gonna be burning your hand so let it go let it fall look how pretty like oh my god i am obsessed i don't know y'all i said i wasn't gonna do the wigs anymore or that often anymore because it's hot outside but this is saucy this is a saucy wig look at that like oh now I am not fluffing these curls out yet it's like as soon as I take them out of the curler I just don't do anything to them yet so I'm going to curl these little front pieces right here and then we're going to fluff them and then we're going to like hit the top of it just so it's like super voluminous because i want this hair to be pretty big i don't know i'm into big wigs now uh you know it's just my vibe i like the big fluffy curly look so uh that's i think that's what i'm gonna do you know this wand curl in the front is like extra saucy like do y'all see what's going on right now all right i feel like i'm gonna have to recurl this wand curl right here because it's not as high as this one on this side so just going to hit that one more again. This hair holds a curl so well. I don't know what it is about Indian, uh, I think it's body wave. Yeah, the Indian body wave texture. <laughs> Ouch! I just burnt the crap out of my arm. Wow, that hurt. And this hair keeps getting caught in my lip gloss. Like, oh, this is just a mess, okay? I need to get my life together, like, right now. All right, now I'm gonna take my brush and literally just comb, ooh, girl. This is so pretty, oh my gosh. <gasps> Look how pretty this is, you guys. This is, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. No, but seriously, like, my wrist hurts so bad now like I really burnt the crap out of it wow so you can see that it's fuller on the bottom and not at the top so what I'm gonna do is take 
some of these top pieces and then I'm going to wand curl them but I'm going to try my hardest not to burn the crap out of my arm again because that junk hurt oh my god that hurt this hair holds a curl so well and it's not tangling at all and you guys the best thing about this wow ebony hair is the fact that it's so inexpensive these wigs are so inexpensive so like I rock with wild ebony heavily some of them are over $200 but I mean that just of course depends on the customization and the length and all them other factors but for a standard like stock wig like this girl you're not gonna pay more than $200 and I feel like the fluffier like the frizzier the more natural ish it looks because it's never gonna look completely natural let's just get real it's a wig but I feel like the more like fluffier the better you know so I'm going to do the same thing on this side over here and I don't know what I'm going to do with this parting you guys it's very very thin but at the same time it's like you know I'm not really feeling like doing all that right now it's I mean it's fine don't get me wrong and like the parts that I put in my natural hair, like when I had hair, they were this thin too. So again, it's just all preference based. And I think that I'm just going to leave it alone maybe. So now I'm gonna take the wand curler and kind of just lay this space down right here because it's kind of puffy up here and it looks a little wiggish. So I'm just gonna take the wand curler and run it down the side of the part and in the back. That burn on my wrist, woo wee. I feel like I look like an old Hollywood movie star and I just don't know how to feel about it yet. All right, you guys, so let's really quickly talk about the pros and the cons of a silk-based closure because I'm sure that you guys are very familiar with lace closures and silk-based and lace, they're kind of really different. So one of the pros of a silk base closure is that silk bases tend to last a lot longer because when it comes to a lace closure, you have to bleach the knots, tint the lace, do like a whole lot of customization, like pluck it, all that stuff. I mean, you don't really have to, but it's kind of like, if you want it to look like it's growing out of your scalp, you probably have to do that. So I'm gonna get a close up and show you guys what the silk base looks like. It literally, like if this flat was laying flesh with my uh forehead like you couldn't tell me that this wasn't growing out of my scalp like it literally looks like scalp which is what i love so much about silk bases now a con of a silk base closure is the fact that not all scalps look the same right so we all have different skin tones usually when it comes to silk bases they all kind of have the same scalp like color uh but if you're darker like me i don't know what like i feel like this was almost customized to be my scalp color because it looks like my scalp color normally silk bases are a lot lighter than our brown skin tone you know what i mean so you'd probably have to like tint it or put some concealer or some foundation on the parting so that it can look more natural. So that's one of the cons. Another con I would say is that you can't get the, the top of the wig to lay flat like a lace closure. And that's just because the silk under here is a little bit thicker than lace, which is why obviously there's a gap between the lace and the silk base because it's not going to lay like super flat to your head so it does look a little bit more wiggy but like i said because the silk base literally looks like scalp it's like you kind of have to mm, you kind of have to like weigh what you want you know what i mean also i forgot to mention that the density of this wig is 180 percent the best part about this wig you guys hold on let me make sure my mic is on it's only 150 dollars 150 so I literally just clicked the link to this wig that they sent me and for 22 inches and a density, a hair density of 150%, this wig is literally $149.25. Like, I just, I don't know. At first, I really thought that Wow Ebony was a scam when they reached out to me and was like, hey, we wanna work with you. I was like, oh girl, your wigs are pretty cheap for them to be this fly, you know what I mean? But I can attest. 
I can assure you guys that you're getting top quality wig hair for like so cheap and I just it just blows my mind. So I highly recommend you going to wowebony.com and shopping around on their website. So that's it you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know the deal. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know, hmm, what question should I ask you? What summer style do you plan on rocking for the rest of the season? Cause it's hot girl, you know, mm, I don't know. I might, I might have to renege on my thought of, wearing wigs for the rest of the summer just because they're like i'm getting used to it you know what i mean so thank you guys for watching i will leave all the links to the hair and as well as this, this uh curly wine on my set flat iron in the description box so make sure you check that i love you guys with my entire heart and i will talk to you in my my uh, i'll talk to you in my next video girl Mwah. bye <laughs> silk base <laughs> i'm gonna need for you to i was just literally coming here asking you about that wig. Literally came in here for that. Well, I'm about to curl it. Please make sure King doesn't like. Oh, great. Can you take her off speaker? It is an Indian wave. Wait, I don't know. I feel like I should be saying more, but I'm trying to get better with like making my videos a little bit shorter. I love you. So you can see it's like fuller. Mm. Like, look how nice. It just falls like it's just it's so good today is father's day and my daddy is downstairs being a brat because i'm not down there spending time with him like bro you get everything that you ever ask for we spoil you every single day every single day is father's day for you so i just don't understand like what is the problem i think it's because he's old and you know how old people like are in their feelings all the time you know, it's like the older they get, the more in their face. <laughs> Stern? Yeah. Come here. Here he comes, you guys. Huh? You wouldn't be on camera? Camera? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it live? Yeah. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I'm recording. You don't see that red button? No. I'm talking about you might edit it out. Like, is it Facebook Live? No, it's not Facebook Live. <laughs> What's up, media world? <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, sure does. Is that your dad? Yep, wonderful. Y'all all right? Wave your hand. Good, good. If you need anything, don't let me know. <laughs> all right, be blessed.